What, what else you got uh, going on these days? Are you still recording music? Do you have any upcoming projects, books, documentaries, um, any new I, music? I, I was ju- I was trying to trying to leave this shit alone and, and just try to be on the production end of it, but like I got bored, so I just I just got back in the booth. So I'm about to I'm about to um, release a couple of joints. I ain't making no full album though. You know what I'm saying? Features here, a couple of singles there, but um, yeah, man. I mean, like. I just, I just last year I did a whole production album. I had Method Man, Rod Digger, uh, Lil Fame from MOP. I had uh, Craig G. I had a bunch of bunch of dudes on the um, Bumpy Knuckles and my man Shorty Shy um, on a production album that I just did. You, it's called the Essence. Check for it when you get a chance. Granddaddy IU presents the Essence. That's the last project that I actually dropped. And that was like, I don't know what what month it was, but it was two, two, 2020. I just did the unsung for the cold chilling. I, I want to see how that come out too. Oh yeah, they did an unsung. I'm gonna have to check that out, man. They be yeah. they be laying them out. I'll be loving them unsung. I'm gonna have to check it out for most, most sure. definitely. Oh um, man, I got a question for you. So by you being somebody that seen the evolution of hip hop. Um, how do you feel about hip hop today, or do you even consider it hip hop like trap, rap, crunk, snap, uh, drill? You know, are they sub genres of hip hop, or is it yeah, something would, else for you? Definitely, I would definitely say those are sub genres. You know what I'm saying? Because um, it's not the original recipe. You know what I'm saying? So it can't, it can be, it can be hip hop, hip hop. If it don't, they, they, they don't even call it hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They don't even call it hip hop. They sell the, the the motherfucker that's doing it. My my only problem with that is the um the shit that they do right now is like no originality, man. It's like they all doing the same thing, following the same script, the same pattern, same cadence. All the drums is the same, and they don't take pride in lyricism. It seems like yo, like it was a, it was it was an interview. I think Waka Flock. They said lyrics. What the fuck I want lyrics for? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't need lyrics. I'm making, you know what I'm saying? Making whatever whatever type of music that they making, if they getting money from it, they don't care about nothing else. And that ain't what hip hop is about. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. I'm tired, and, and I'm tired of all the um the killing, man. Like the killing and shit. Why are you glorifying killing? I mean, we did, we we talked about, you know what I'm saying? Guns and drugs and all that shit, but these niggas is actually actually killing motherfuckers and putting it on the song. Like, like that's amazing to me. Like, are you serious? And they promoting it. And like at, 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 it, it was a one time where they told us you can't say certain things. You had to be it was censoring us. There's no censorship now. It's like, yo. I killed this nigga yesterday, and he really did, and he, it's on a song tomorrow, and the company pushing the song. That's crazy to me. Yeah, man, it's sad. A uh, rapper just died last night from Inglewood, uh, Slim 400. He was a YG artist. Yeah, I heard yeah. about that. Yeah, man, a couple, that's couple sad. Of weeks ago was um, Young Dolph. Like, come on, man. Like, shit crazy. Right, that's sad, man. You can't even make it out the hood all the way, and people want to take your life from you. But um, uh, I mean, like you t- you touched on something important. At least in the '90s and the '80s, everybody kind of sounded different. Like Bone and Wu Tang and Outkast and N.W.A. and Run D.M.C. They right. all sounded totally different. Man, you know, but nowadays, they do sound like the same rhythm. That one formula. Yeah. That's it. Crazy, but I mean, I guess other genres is like that. You know, it's like when rock and roll first started. You had like Chuck Berry and Little Richard, but you got heavy metal, soft rock, punk rock, alternative, hard rock, classic. You know what I'm saying? That shit sound totally different from Good Golly Miss Molly. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good Golly Miss Molly. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me though? The people don't even look the same. Yeah, right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So it's like, that, it, it, that, yeah. that's coming. 
that's coming too. Right, that's what I'm saying. So it's an honor to even get your perspective on it. Like people will say, well, well, why do you care or why do you feel this? You was with the Juice Crew. That's hip hop, the epitome of hip hop. So if the Juice Crew tell you what it is, then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You worked with Big L, you worked with Ho, you worked with Coogee Rap, Biz Marquee. You know what I'm saying? That's the heart of hip hop. The soul. You was a part of that. You changed world history, man. The way people make music. So, most definitely. So, I want to thank you again, King. I ain't gonna hold you up for sure. It's, it's definitely been an honor, man. And I'm still checking your uh, catalog as well. I was listening to the uh, the something new, man. You was killing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fresh, fly. That's something that the Juice Crew represented. Flyness, lyricism. You know, y'all set a precedent in hip hop. That's gonna last forever. For sure. For sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. It's been another episode of Taye Speaks. Until next time, family. Peace. Peace, y'all.